We are out here on the plaza. Welcome back to Live in the D. We're out here on the plaza where we are in for a really rare treat. So let me introduce you to some good folks. We've got Chris Hahn. You are a chili roaster. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm a chili roaster with Melissa's World Variety Produce. And we brought out our Hatch Chili Roaster for a special event we're doing this weekend at Bush's in Canton. Um, we put the, the hatch chilies inside here and they tumble actually for about four to six minutes. Let me just kind of turn the flame up a little bit to give you an idea of how this, uh, this thing really goes. Whoa. Yeah. So let me ask you this though. Let, let me ask you this, Chris. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Why are they called hatch? Well, they're called hatch chilies due to the fact of the, where the regional area where they're grown. They're grown in the Masil Valley of Hatch, New Mexico, and they're basically only available for four to six weeks. Oh. So the, the basically, the, uh, the cool nights and the bright, uh, the bright summer sunshine days kind of give these hatch chilies a unique flavor. They have more of a thicker, meatier skin, perfect for roasting. All right, so this is the only way to roast them then? Uh, no, you can actually roast them at home on a barbecue grill or at home in your broiler. But actually with this tumbler and the hatch roasting chili uh, roaster that we have here, it takes all the, the work and the mess out of it. So you can okay. kind of just, okay. you know, just enjoy the, the, the delicious smoky flavored chili. So you could do it at home, but I could also see you and have it happen. But let me ask you this, what makes them so special? What makes them so special, like I said, is the growing region where they're in Hatch, New Mexico, with those bright sunny days and those cool nights. Just give them a more smoky, meatier flavor and they're a meteor chili, and uh, they just have a robust, smoky flavor. All and they're right. just, like I said, they're only available for that short time between four to six weeks. Okay, so speaking of flavor, let's go over here and chat with Rebecca Waldron, who's an executive chef. Hello. Good to have you here. Thank you. Great to be here. So let's talk about these chilies. Okay. What are the different ways that we can cook with them? Because you've got a beautiful spread out here. Well, these are extremely versatile, and that's one of the great things about them. They're extremely versatile, and these are considered hot. They're the hot variety. Mm -hmm. However, they are not um, burn-your-mouth hot. They are actually a nice, good, I would say it's more of a even heat, more of a nice, flavorful heat. Okay. And so when you get them roasted, when you, when you see them, they're going to come out of the bag, and they're going to look like this. And that doesn't look very appetizing, probably, right off no, the No, it doesn't. <laughs> so what you're going to do is when you get them home, you're just going to scrape with a paring knife here, and you're going to scrape off all of that charred skin. And what you're going to find underneath are these beautiful green roasted chilies that have that really lovely um, roasted flavor. And after, at this point, you can use them in recipes. So if you want them to be spicier, you can leave the seeds in and these little membranes on the inside, the little white membranes. Mm -hmm. That will make it spicier. If you want to make it more mild, you can take those out. Um, they also freeze beautifully. So at this point, if you wanted to put them in a freezer bag and freeze them, they'll freeze for about six months. So they're great. We've used them in a variety of recipes here as well. Okay, so let me ask you this. Can you use them raw? Oh, absolutely. Okay. You can use them raw as you would a poblano chili or an Anaheim chili or a jalapeno. So you can use them raw. And actually, I, in our tequila, we did some uh, infused tequila, and I used some raw peppers in that. That always sounds good. That always sounds good. So what kind of flavor can we expect? Um, smoky, spicy, but not burning, mm -hmm. um, really nice, even heat. Okay. Um, and so, but that, that hatch roastedness, that very uh, robust flavor comes through very well in all of these recipes. I love that, that you say that because when it's just all heat and no flavor. Exactly, right? exactly. Which is why these are so great. You can put them in cornbread. You can put them, we had a, um, we have a nice cheese spread over here with hatch chilies in it. And the kids will even eat it because it's not going to burn your mouth. So it's perfect. This is absolutely awesome. So the tequila looks amazing. I'm tempted to try it. Dare I? I don't know. I'll try it. We'll be right back, you guys. Thank you.